Hello, Golden Beauties. Don't mind my, you know, loose leaf right here, but I have a list of things that we're going to talk about today. Today is more of a serious conversation, so put your serious face on. It's kind of hard for me to be serious because I joke a lot, but we're about to be serious. So today I'm coming to you with the video talking about how to get over a breakup. Now I know you like, well girl, there's already like 152,000 million videos on YouTube, but none of them were made by Shane Rose. So we're gonna have a serious talk, a little chit chat, a little, uh, it's time to get ready with me. I don't know why I was about to say get ready with me, because I'm already ready. So get you some popcorn, get you a Tootsie Roll, a little Twinkie, a little Hershey, kiss or whatever, sit down and let's get comfortable. So, the first thing you need to understand when going through a breakup, and I'm not just talking to y'all, I'm talking to me too. So, we back, I'm about to preach to both of us, okay? So, the first thing you need to understand is everything happens for a reason. I know your mama and your grandma and your auntie Earl, Earl, she told you everything happens for a reason and you like, you know what, I'm tired of hearing that, but it is true. And it you might not want to hear that right now. I know I didn't want to hear it. Sometimes I still don't want to hear it, but it's the truth. Everything happens for a reason. You might not like always like the reason at the time, but give it six months, you will like the reason. I didn't like the reason at the time, but I gave it a couple months and I'm still giving it some months and I'm starting to like the reason because you have to understand sometimes you just need you time, okay? You just need to be able to let loose, let your weave down, let your $7.99 ponytail that you got from the beauty store, let it down, let it hang, let it fly in the wind, in the Beyonce fandom. You just need to chill. Take a break. Do you. You don't always need somebody where you at, what you doing, who you with, why you say that, why you do that, why you look like that. Just do you. And after a while of having someone always there, dictating what's happening you get used to that and you feel like you need approval and that's what i'm getting at you feel like you need approval from people so then after a breakup you feel like you need to go and find somebody else because it's like okay well i've been living life like this so who, who gonna fill, fill your spot that you no not you okay you no not you okay well i don't know what to do when i say my ex i was trained okay not saying that he was like a dictator or anything like you better not like Stalin or something but at the end of the day I was spoiled to the fact of I knew how things were supposed to be done and I expected certain things so after we broke up it's like okay so who go uh who gonna get me my chocolate pie every night because you know what I mean like it's just certain things you expect so what I, don't don't rush into anything. Give yourself time to grieve. Don't start dating too soon because you're gonna be disappointed when JoJo don't do what Bobby did and Philip don't do what Gregory did and Bonquiqui don't do what Sharonda did. So don't compare people either because you're gonna be real disappointed when you can't they can't meet your standards. I'm not saying don't have standards and just Okay, since you can't meet my ex standards, then you can just do what you want because at the end of the day, I just need a boyfriend, I just need a boo, I just need a love bug, I just need a sugar mama. No, still have standards because then you're just going to look like a slouch, like you don't care about others, you don't care about yourself. You need to have some type of balance, some type of standard, so you know what you want, what you need, and how you're going to get what you want and how you're going to get what you need. The next thing is do not be petty. I had to keep telling myself this because there were so many things that I wanted to do, so many things that I wanted to say. And at the time, you think, okay, if I do this, if I say this, if I text this, if I send this person to go do this, it's going to make me feel better. It's not because at the end of the day, no matter if you want this person back, if you don't want this person back, it's not going to change what happened. So if you say if you want this person back, by you sending your brother to go beat him up, he's not going to come back to you but you want him so bad, by you sending your mama to go slap his mama, he not going to apologize. <laughs> I mean, it's not going to change anything. So don't be petty. The next thing is like one of the most important things because our world is so consumed with social media and the television. I sound so old saying television, <laughs> but just the internet in general. I will say this, delete, you can block, you don't have to block, I recommend you delete. Because seeing them 
and seeing what they're doing and what they're up to is not going to give you any satisfaction. It's not going to make you feel better. The next thing is channel your negatively correct for example take spending your time looking at them uh, stalking them in the Walmart and you see them on aisle 9 and so let me go on aisle 8 to see what they're talking about sus stop <laughs> okay just stop you need to turn your negatively your negative energy correctly I mean there's so many things you can do find a hobby I found my hobby my hobby is doing nails so you know Figure out what you, what, what's your thing and do your thing. Don't worry about what that thing is because that thing ain't helping your thing. So just do you, be you, and love you. And you're going to be all right. The next thing is accept what happened. That was my mistake. And I'm not even going to be a hypocrite on y'all. I'm still trying to accept what happened because at the end of the day, there's always going to be that what if. The what if things happen, uh, you know, or the maybe if. Well, maybe if I, or the, well, hmm, there's always the, hmm, stop hmming, okay? It, it, accept it, move on, do you, be you, love you, eat some chicken, move on. It's not going to change anything, and that's the thing. After all of this, all we want is change, right? We want to change the situation. No matter what you do, it's not going to change. Okay, so just accept what happened. Don't, you know, throw pebbles at her window. Okay, if she, you know, her mama got a big house and you just want to stop Romeo. It's not going to happen. Okay, don't write notes and pass it back. Hey, Sally, can you hand that to Shaniqua? Mm -mm. Stop. Accept what happened. The next thing is surround yourself with positive energy. That was another mistake I made. And I was talking to my ex and that was another mistake that he made because at the end of the day, instead of talking it out with people who could actually help us through the situation, we went to the wrong people and all they did was feed negative energy into and negative you know, thoughts into our minds which made us think, more horribly of the situation i don't even know if horribly is a, a a word but that just it drew the situation out of proportion and so if you know that at the end of the day you know shaniqua wanted to low-key get with him and now y'all broken up so now she talking in your ear about what happened because at the end of the day she wanted him to be her boot in the first place that's not who you need to be going to for comfort and for support during this time of need because she ain't gonna give you what you need. She gonna give you uh, uh, something, but it's not gonna be what you need at the time. If you know that Daquan, you know, low-key wanted Sharonda at the end of the day, don't go to Daquan. Because Daquan, been, they they went to Burger King yesterday and had a whole Whopper meal together. And you don't even know it. So just make sure you go into the right people. Make sure you're going to the right people. Make sure that these people have your best interests at heart. You know, most of the time you can talk to your parents, um, talk to your best friend, talk to your grandma. I know, you know, I talk to my grandma. Even go see a therapist. Make sure you're choosing the right therapist. My ther We're not going to get on that subject. But just make sure you choose the right therapist and go for it. I feel like talking it out is the best option. For me, I feel like it's the best option for other people. For me personally, I'm kind of bad when it comes to talking it out when I'm upset about something. But once I get to the point where I can talk, it is beneficial. So I would recommend it to everybody. Talk it out. Don't fight nobody. Don't fight nobody. Number 578. Don't beat yourself up. Even if you did something that prevented this relationship from moving forward, meaning if you were the reason that the breakup occurred, still don't beat yourself up because at the end of the day there are so many fish in the sea there are so many koalas in the jungle there are so many hondas at the honda dealership there are so many drums at guitar center okay basically what i'm trying to say is there's a plethora of people in the united states of america and you will be all right the next thing is whoop, come on paper the next thing is do not compare and do not allow your past to prevent you from having something amazing in the future. 
once again, it's something that I did. Basically, I'm giving you all tips and tricks that I use and things that I know I did that I would not recommend anybody to do because this breakup was my hardest. So, I can definitely like give you real tips. Like, I know, listen, don't do this because I know from experience. So, I'm not just, oh, well, James Charles said this, so let me write that because I'll get these on my chair. No, I'm, I'm speaking from experience. I'm really speaking from experience. So don't allow what happened in the past. So for example, I know girls will walk around and be like, dudes ain't crap because, you know, Daquan or whatever did this to me. So that means that Timmy is gonna do the same thing. That's not the truth. And I'm still having to learn that because I really was viewing everybody the same because I had thought I had found someone who was totally different from everybody. So in my mind, it was like, okay, well, there was that one person that was perfect. So that means that nobody else is perfect because I thought they were the only perfect person. Don't do that because you will prevent yourself from getting a lot of great things in life and not even just with relationships, with everything. Like you work in fast food when you're 16 and then you're like, when your child turns 16, I don't want you working in fast food because when I was in fast food, this lady threw a hamburger at me. So, uh, don't do that. Just take experience as experiences as they come, learn from them, live with them, move on, eat a piece of chicken, and stay golden. That's all you can do. The next thing is don't fall off the hinge. Okay, when I what I mean when I say this is, okay, yeah, like I said, take some time, get your life together, get your nerves together. But in six months from now, you should not have gained 800 pounds and you should not be living under the London Bridge or Golden Gate Bridge, just don't do it. Don't fall off the hinge. You need to show him, you need to show her, I'm still popping without you, but what's good? Okay, don't. take a shower. Take a shower. Do your hair up. Do a little flat iron here, a little flip there, a little twist there. You know, do something with yourself. Look presentable. Okay, this is a temple. Not like a temple, but a temple. We need to keep ourselves together. Don't fall off the hinge. Don't do it to yourself. Because then he gonna see you at the Walgreens and be like, oh, that's that. That's why. Yeah, I remember now. Don't let that happen. Okay? Pop out. Step out. Do you be you love you. All right? So the last thing on today's video is stay true to yourself and remember your worth. At the end of the day, no matter what type of relationship you had, even if it was a great relationship and y'all broke up because someone was moving eight million miles away or, you know, they cheated or they were emotionally abusive or verbally abusive or physically abusive, it doesn't matter the reason why the breakup occurred. What matters is that you remember your self-worth. And this goes on both sides, girl or boy, you know, boy or girl. No matter what is said about you from the other person, the other person's family, the school, rumors get spread. As long as you know who you are, what you are, whose you are, why you're what, whatever, that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, nobody is going to do anything for you. At the end of the day, you have you. You died. I mean, you, you was born by yourself. Now, your mama helped you. But you was born by yourself, you gonna die by yourself. The only person that's gonna help you is Alexander Funeral Home. They gonna put that dirt over you and they can keep their life moving. Okay, so you have to learn how to do you, be you, and love you, and live for you. You have to know what you are. You don't have, you don't need to need other people to validate what you are and who you are. You don't need other people's approval just to be like, oh, okay, how this look? You like this, how you feel about this? You okay if I, I like this, I bought this, I put this on because I liked this, I'm going to Wendy's because I like chicken nuggets, okay, I'm buying this car because I like 1999 cars, okay, do you, don't ask for people's approval, because when you ask for people's approval, it makes other people think, okay, so the confidence isn't really there. 2019 is the year of confidence, okay? Confidence is about to be on 1,000, all right? So I want you guys to comment under this video, hashtag confidence. We're going to start that. Well, we're not really going to start it because I'm pretty sure it's already hashtag. But we're going to keep it going, okay? I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
it was really hard for me to make this video and as I was thinking about making the video I was kind of like well what if he sees it which I'm sure he will just because he does research um <laughs> but it's like what if he sees it or what if you know she sees it what if the girl that he got together with after he was with me what if she sees it and it's like and so what let her see it let her see that you are not in the same place that you were in that you're good that you're staying golden that you're doing you being you loving you okay it's okay it's not about everybody else and i had to realize that and i'm really happy that i made this video because if i can help somebody else i did it okay just do a check did it check it off the list keep it rolling okay so i'm really happy that i made this video Comment down below if there was something that you think I missed. So if you guys comment on our stuff, I can do a part two and then I can tag you guys in it. And then you could have, you know, been inside of your own video. So I'm just really glad you guys took the time because I know this is a really long video. Like, come on, Rant. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned learn something. I hope you didn't cry because I was trying not to cry. I couldn't cry because this isn't waterproof eyeliner. So I'm a little nervous. So that's why I try not to cry. But... I really hope you guys stay golden. Do you, be you, love you. I said that like 18 times in this video, but that's my business slogan because I really believe that it's about how you feel about yourself at the end of the day. So stay golden, and I will talk to you guys later, golden beauties. Bye.